Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is something Saturday on this channel where we just talk about things we didn't get to talk about the rest of the week. And today we have to talk about the R-rated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie coming out, The Last Ronin. So let's jump right into it. We just got this word a couple days ago that a live-action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie is coming back to the theaters. But this isn't any live-action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. No, this is going to be rated R. And this is actually very important because if you follow the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for a long period of time, you know they were not always the far every audience thing that they've grown into. That came later when they were adapted from their original comics into a more family-friendly cartoon. A lot of people that enjoyed it did follow it on to this cartoon. And they watched it with their families, and it became this major cultural impact. But the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will always be successful, no matter what incarnation they choose. And the reason is that they have a nice premise. They have an original premise that still holds up. And we got the Jim Henson movies with, you know, with the Jim Henson Creature Shop stuff going on. That was actually very good. A lot of fans praised those movies. And then we got the live action reboot with Megan Fox. And people talked about how their lips looked human. And that's okay too. I never personally thought they looked too human to take me out of the entire thing. I heard words like Uncanny Valley and all this other stuff bantied about during the time that those movies came out, but I never really saw that as a thing. I just enjoyed the movie for the plots that they brought to me, and I found nothing completely wrong with either one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. So I thought they were actually very good. Now, here is the thing. Then we got the animated movie that came out recently. And this has sparked a new found interest in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. So that is exactly what we're getting. And this is what has been told to us. This comes from The Hollywood Reporter. They say... Tyler Burton Smith, who wrote the upcoming action film Boy Kills World, is penning a script for this high body count tell. Okay, you have me at high body count tell when you're dealing with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of the last Ronin. Wow. I'm, I'm all in now. Because that story is kind of violent. And the only way you're actually going to make that work is if you do give that high body count. If you aren't afraid to push that limit. They go on to say, after the success of last year's animated hit film, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem... Paramount Pictures is keeping the turtle power going by putting a new project into development. This one, however, will go beyond the realm of the all-ages material the long-standing property is known for and instead go into gritty R-rated territory. Paramount is developing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, adapting the popular storyline seen in the recent IDW comics, a live action feature with the intent of making it an R rating. Tyler Burton Smith, who co-wrote the upcoming R rated action movie, Boy Kills World, and who wrote the 2019 Chucky horror franchise Child's Play is penning the script. Yeah, okay, so he wrote that reinterpretation of Chucky where, where Chucky is Buddy. I don't really hold this against him. I mean, I, I like that Mark Hamill was in that movie. I like that part. 
they had me at Mark Hamill, and the rest of the movie just had a few cool things about it. And I thought, I thought Aubrey Plaza was awesome in it. But the movie did lack a little bit in terms of making me excited to see this franchise go on. I mean, if they announced a sequel tomorrow, I'm sure I'd be okay with it. But I don't think it was that great of a movie. But his other movie, Boy Kills World, I've seen the trailer for that. And it looks like he's got a real handle on how to present this R-rated violent body count that they're talking about in this movie. And you couple that with the fact that he did work on a movie that re involved a lot of CGI and a lot of really cool effects. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm kind of excited for him to do this movie and see where he can take it. It says Walter Hamada is producing the script through his 18HZ production company as part of his multi-year deal with the studio. Hamada is the former head of DC Films who rose through the ranks at New Line, where he oversaw the Warner Brothers division of horror movies, including the Conjuring and It franchises. His 18HZ banner is focused on making features in the horror genre. Okay. So, this is kind of what The Last Ronin is about, if you don't know. The Last Ronin is set in the future of New York City. Uh, things have kind of changed. The Turtles and Master Splinter have been killed off one by one by the grandson of the villainous Shredder. And this is kind of the thing that leads to one turtle that manages to survive and he goes on a rampage trying to get revenge. And this is kind of cool because during this, you don't know which turtle actually lived. That's the thing. At least for a while in the comic, you really don't know which turtle lived. And that made it really exciting to actually watch. Now, in terms of that comic, co-creator Kevin Eastman and Tom Waltz wrote the comic based on an older story by Eastman and co-creator Peter Lard. Artists included Isu and Isaac Azacorza, Ben Bishop and Eastman. And the IDW publisher still holds the license to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics put out between 2020 and 2022. The comics were an unexpected massive hit with the collected paperback being the highest selling graphic novel in 2023. They are currently even working on The Last Ronin 2, The Re-Evolution. Now that is really cool. I have one of my friends to thank for turning me on to this comic to begin with. And just the fact that we could get to see this movie is actually so amazing. And I am hoping to go and see this in the theater as soon as it is released. This is super exciting news for anyone who has ever been a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. And if you have never read these books, I highly recommend you to pick up the collected graphic novel that they released of it. Or if you had access and you have it in your collection and you just haven't read it, go ahead and read this entire collection of comics because it is amazing. It is truly one of the best comics I have read in a long time. So with that being said, this movie is going to be drastically different. It's going to be something unique for fans of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sure, if you have read the comics, you kind of know what's going to happen. But if you haven't, you are in for one of the darkest chapters in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle history. And that is saying a lot because they have had some pretty cool little moments in their 
in their comics in the past. There has been several times when they kind of pushed that boundary just a little. But then when the cartoon came out in a little bit of stuff, but this story, this story was really one of the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stories that I've ever read. And I don't say that lightly as a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think that this is going to be so much fun. It is going to be one of those things that, that if it is successful, I can't wait for them to do the sequel that they're planning in comic book form now. I think this has a lot of potential to be one of the coolest movies we have seen in a long time. For comic book fans and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans alike. Even if you never were a fan of the comics themselves and just like the cartoon and you grew up watching the cartoons and want to see a more adult oriented version of that cartoon, this one is going to be great. But that's where I'm going to leave it off to you guys. As always, we want to know what you guys think. Make sure you leave that comment letting us know what you think. Also, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends. They're going to want to be a part of the conversation as well. Make sure you hit that like button. Miko says we need more subscribers. You don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're down there so you don't miss a single video we do. And friends, at the end of the day, I know it, you know it, and Miko knows it. Phantom's family.